Hi, I'm Nick from Pump Products. Today we're going to be talking about float switches and how to install them. Float switches are the main thing that activate your pump, turning it on and off. There's several different kinds of float switches. The two we're going to go over today are just tethered piggyback style and then just a vertical float switch. So the first type is a vertical style float switch, uh, one of the more common ones. All it does is it rises up to a certain point. See this little latch here? You can hear it click once it turns on. This is the float itself. Once the water rises, it'll go ahead and just rise up and activate that. As it sinks, there's a little stopper here that'll catch the float and cause it to click again. Your float is off. So when you install these, there's typically just a little metal bracket and a, and a hose clamp. So what you're gonna do is run the hose clamp through. Simple enough. You're gonna put it at a level so that your pump will stay submerged while pumping. These pumps work in a way so that they're cooled by the water around them. So all you're gonna do at that point is just tighten it up with a regular screwdriver. All right, so this, this is tightened. So basically once the water starts to rise on this, it's just gonna rise up, activate the float switch, cause the pump to pump down. As it sinks down, turn the pump off. This is already wired into the pump. There's nothing else needed to be done. This is ready to go. Now for our next style float switch we're gonna show today, it's gonna be a tethered piggyback style. So basically what it is, is the float switch is a completely separate entity of the pump. This is convenient if you have a pump where the float switch fails and you just need something as a quick fix. Uh, very convenient to just change these out. Very easy to work with. So basically what we're gonna do, it's gonna be the same procedure, but there's just one extra step. You have a little, little black plastic piece on the clamp. You're just gonna go ahead and Loosen that so you get your cord on. Go ahead and set this on to the actual pipe. And these are much more easier to adjust if you want to adjust your water levels. All right, so basically what we're gonna do now is make sure this is nice and loose. We'll go ahead, set our float at a level where the pump will turn on and off. So right there seems like a good level. And again, the nice part about these is they are very versatile. You just go ahead and tighten that. And that's pretty much it. Besides the fact of once you're all set, you'll go ahead and run your cords. You're always gonna plug the piggyback into the outlet first. This is connected to the float directly. And then you'll plug the pump into that. So the current for the pump is running through the piggyback of the float. So that's what causes the pump to activate. This is known as a normally open piggyback. So once the float switch is down, the flow of the current is open, it's not connected, so that way the pump will not activate. I'm Nick from Pump Products and we thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact any of our experts at 800-429-0800. We'll be happy to help you and look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.